Austin. Welcome to Austin. Check, check, check. Hey. We're here at the Red Eyed Fly, uh, Austin, Texas, South by Southwest 2006. I'm here with Pear and David from uh, Division of Laura Lee. Uh, their last album was Dust Not Compute. Uh, it was released here in the States in 2004 and they're currently in the midst of uh, writing and recording their new one from what I understand. Uh, so uh, how did you guys get together as a band and uh, what, what was the inspiration for uh, forming Division of Laura Lee? Our inspiration to form Division of Laura Lee was, uh, oh, we started the band in 97. Okay. Uh, well, we kind of, we just bored you know, over the musical environment in our okay. city that we grew up in and we wanted to do something new so, and, uh, you know, challenging, kind of something fun, you know, and weird. Yeah. So we just, we just did it pretty much and yeah. it became what it became. What, what kind of stuff were you listening to at the time that kind of well, inspired the music? Well, the reason, it's like three bands are reasons why we started this band and it's uh, Fugazi, Sonic Youth and a band called Drive Like You Who. Okay. So, yeah. So uh, lots of guitars on the album, but not just guitars. Uh, but we'll, I guess we'll start there. What, what do you guys prefer when you uh, pick up the six string and uh, get to it? Is it you guys Fender guys, Gibson guys, or otherwise? Well, we use pretty much whatever, but uh, but uh, basically I like to use uh, Tele Custom ones, uh, both for live and studio. But uh, I also really love playing like SGs and Les Pauls. I got, I got a bunch of like uh, custom-made Ibanez guitars. In, oh, yeah. in fact, yeah, they're awesome. yeah, they're totally great guitars. Who, who, who makes them? Ibanez. Oh, Ibanez. Okay. Yeah, custom they Ibanez. make them in okay. California, and they're custom. Great. How, how, That's how about for amplifiers? What do you guys play through? I play through a, a old G, JMP Marshall from like '71 or something like that, okay. and uh, and and I have a Marsh, uh, I have a Fender Bassman as well. But we use, because the studio we're recording has pretty much everything, so okay. whatever is needed for the time, you know. Yeah, yeah. Lots of the time it's just like a, a pedal straight into the board, no amp at all. Oh, know? really? Yeah. I use a lot of Marshall as well, and, and Vox a lot in the studio. Okay, like the AC30 kind of thing? The AC30, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, okay. And lots of like compressions and they're all different kind of stomp boxes. Just, Great. yeah, yeah. So who, who uh, takes on the songwriting uh, duties for a Division of Lurley? Is that job split up from what I understand? It's quite split up, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, sometimes it's mostly me and sometimes it's mostly David and sometimes mostly Jonas, but we're all three kind of working on it. Okay. It's kind of like cycles that we go through. Sometimes it's, it's somebody's writing a lot and that just... It depends on the mood kind of, yeah. you know. But. Yeah. So you're fortunate you got to something three, to say. Three songwriters, you probably somebody's yeah, already awesome. always hitting that, right? At some point. Yeah, yeah okay. that's great. Great. So, uh, how about the studio session for uh, Das Not Compute? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it was really long, uh, yeah. like three months maybe. Okay. All together with mix and all that, and we didn't actually we were not really finished when we got into the studio. We had the songs, but they were not really worked on. So we did everything there, which was uh, kind of cool, but. I don't think I want to do that again because it kind of takes time and you know gets you tired. Yeah. So it was a bit crazy, but we had a good time, you know. Pretty much, you know, you know, at that record we used as many channels possible okay. for putting stuff on. On the new record, it's totally opposite. So. Okay. So, so the the uh, dust not compute was kind of basic tracking and lots of overdubs, and the, and the yeah. new one's more a live feel, or how would you describe? Definitely it? Definitely more yeah. live feel. Okay. So uh, would. And yet you guys also use keyboards in the music. Can you uh, talk about who, yeah, who, we who did, programs but keyboards or who gets the sounds and, and what do you guys use for that? Yeah, we used like a bunch of different like old Juno and, and like all that kind of stuff. Analog and rolling Korg. stuff. Yeah, old, yeah, yeah, and uh, Korg, like the Moogs and Wurlitzers and uh, yeah, yeah, we play all, all the stuff ourselves. And we can't really so. play, so it's more like, you know, we just joke around and see what's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. excellent. But it's not going to be as much as that on the new one. I guess it's going to be some, you know. But so did you say more stripped down sound for the new one, or or we still get into all that? Well, no, it's heavier, but okay. well, 
stripped down in one way, maybe, you know. But you know, you live with a record that long and you go on tour and, and uh, you kind of, you did that thing back then. You, you tend to like want to just do, do the opposite. Not because you don't like to do it that way, it's just that you want to do something else, you know. So, so now we were totally like well rehearsed. We had all the songs, like all the bits and pieces were put together. So we just went in there, recorded it live and we're keeping like almost everything from from what we first put down like maybe if there's some mistake here or there we like do it again but keeping it raw and lively <laughs> yeah so uh when what's the time frame for that for that release i uh, hopefully august or september something like that okay great and you guys have a title yet for the new one or is still working on that yeah but it's secret right now secret. okay all right well, well i'm sure your fans will be uh waiting for that one yeah uh so any other bands you've seen in south by southwest that you've been uh that you like or uh yeah we've seen a lot of stuff uh i saw chris christopherson okay he was cool i saw and you know by the trailer dead which is one of my favorite bands and yeah speaking of chris i saw christopher ostrom a swedish uh, singer songwriter he's really good yeah he's really good and uh the gossip of swedish bands that are being good yeah yeah can you name some other bands that are coming out of sweden now christopher ostrom is uh, great and uh, also another band that played here this festival is called Flaman. Okay. It's like, it means the flame, yeah. but it's, it's in Swedish. But it's, it's awesome. And uh, and uh, Matthias Helberg, another guy, just by himself with a guitar, but it's great. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Great. Uh, any advice for uh, guys writing, or ladies writing uh, songs in your genre, the kind of power pop punk stuff? The, any advice you'd give them? If, for no. Inspiring musicians? <laughs> no. No. Well, well, inspire musicians. Well, that's what our music do, you know. Yeah, and uh, okay. and uh, that's what music did for me. But in generally, just you know, I just want people to try to create as, you know, powerful and dangerous and honest music as possible. You yeah. know. Stay with your own original yeah. idea. Don't don't let don't anybody. Don't believe the labels. Don't no, believe no. you know MTV. Don't believe that. Okay. Well, we mess it up. If, if they're you guys the devil. Had to, yeah. If you guys had to face some of that in your in your uh, Division of Laura Lee experience, too much. Yeah. Too, yeah, much, too yeah. much. Especially when you're younger. Good stuff. Um, so you guys uh, new new album in the fall, and then tour planned after that, or, or what's what's next for you guys? Yeah, probably we're gonna tour. We're gonna start tour again in August, and we'll probably do it for two years, you know, as usual. But okay. So we'll be back here pretty soon in U.S. Great. Have, have you found uh, audiences receptive here in the states to you guys? What? Have you found the audiences receptive to your music here in the States? Well, here is where it's been the best almost, you know, yeah. like here in Scandinavia, you know. It's, yeah. It's, it's awesome. So. Okay. Great. Well, we really appreciate you guys uh, talking to Gearwire. Uh, they'll be playing here at the uh, Red Eyed Fly tonight, and we should be able to catch the gig and uh, give you guys a little bit of that, too. So, uh, Good time. Bear and David, uh, thanks again. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. My pleasure. Excellent.